I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some test questions on entities from previous test papers. Here is a communication question for you. Explain why NUT is an application of a geometric series. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well, let's first define NUT, right? NUT is a series of payments or investments made at regular interval of time. So let's write it down. So we have NUT is a series of payments or investments made at regular interval of time, right? So normally in the case of NUT, we have seen that this uh, regular interval coincides with compounding period. So that interval normally coincides with compounding period. So that is the case of simple entities and uh, you know ordinary entities right so we'll discuss with respect to that how these entities can be treated as geometric series now when we say series of payments or investments payments is when let us say you deposit some money initially that is the present value and then you can get regular interval at regular interval let's say monthly five hundred dollars so that could be when you receive a series of payments. In the case of investments, uh, sometimes when you do it for future, that is to say that at the end of every month, if you invest, let's say $500, then after, let's say five years, you may have a lot of money in your account. So those are the cases which we can look into. So let's look into the investment aspect. So let's say, let me sketch a timeline to uh, you know understand this method and see how it relates to geometric series right so I'm just trying to give you an explanation which is kind of good enough for test point of view so let's say you start making investments one year from now let's take simple right so it's one year two year three years like this you can make investments for let's uh, take the investment till let's say 10 years okay so so we have nine years ten years so at the end of first year second year third year so that's the starting so at the end of your first year the second year third year if you deposit the amounts let's say five hundred dollars right then each amount will be returned to you at the end of this cycle with interest right so this amount comes as just 500 but this amount will be uh, will get one years of interest on it so this will return so this we call as future value right so the future value of the money which you just deposited will be 500 only but the future value of this money will be 500 into 1 plus i right so for one year you get interest on it right mm -hmm. so all these amounts will be returned with interest correct so all these amounts will be returned with interest so for example this amount will be returned as 500 times 1 plus i to the power of 10 minus 1 which is 9 right so this will be 500 1 plus i to the power of 10 minus 2 which is 8 and this will be 500 into 1 plus i to the power of 10 minus 3 which is 7 and you can see this is 10 minus 10 which is 0 10 minus 9 which is 1 right so that is the kind of pattern so what you see here is that the future value right so what we find here is that future value is equal to sum of all this which is 500 plus 500 times 1 plus i plus 500 
times 1 plus i to the power of 2 plus so on till 500 times 1 plus i to the power of 9. So what we see here that this is a geometric series where the first term a is 500 right and every term is getting multiplied by r which is 1 plus i right and then we have n number of terms which is 10 in all. So that becomes a case of geometric series. So that is we can see as a sum of geometric series. Right. So we can always apply the formulas for sum of geometric series in this cases and we can calculate this sum as a times r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1, correct? So, so likewise, as you can see here, it really uh, helps us to calculate the values and there is a direct relation between annuities and geometric series. In case of uh, present value, if we are getting, you know, we have deposited something here and every month we get, let's say, 500, in that case, we can always figure out those 500s, what present value effect they have, that is also a geometric series, it will be 500 divided by 1 plus i, right, so kind of. So there, a will be 500, r will be 1 plus i to the power of minus 1, and n will be 10. So from the same values, let us say you are receiving payments of 500 regularly for 10 years, at the end of every year, then their present value can be calculated in that fashion. So, so either way, we find that the annuities really are an application of geometric series. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.